Hey guys, it's Ken Free 7 back again with another Star Wars action figure review, something I haven't done for a long time. Today, we, today I'm going to be giving you guys a look at the Star Wars Rebels R2-D2 and C-3PO 2-pack. Um, I just bought these guys the other day at Target, found them at Target. I absolutely love them. So here are the figures. Uh, come here. We have C-3PO and R2-D2. But let's just take a quick little better look at the packaging really quickly. Um, it's the new Star Wars Rebels packaging from Hasbro. We have C-3PO here, and then R2-D2 on the other side. And then we have the new Stormtrooper helmet packaging with the little Rebels symbol up in the top corner. On the back we have the heroes. We have Sabine, Ezra, Kanan, and Zeb. Then we just have all the other figures available. We have Zeb and Stormtrooper, Emperor Palpatine and Yoda, Grievous and Obi-Wan, Luke and Vader, and then Boba Fett and a Stormtrooper. Um, I originally was, I'm really wanting to get Zeb and, excuse me, the Stormtrooper, but I didn't have them, but they had C-3PO and R2-D2, so I said, okay, so let's take a look at C-3PO first. Now, I don't have the C-3PO from the Clone Wars to compare it to, because that's at home and I'm in my college dorm room. So we have C-3PO right here, and he is actually, he's not, he's not bad, he's decent. Um, you know, you know it's, it's an alright figure. Um, you know, it's got the standard articulation, you know, swivel at the legs, the arms, uh, no, no torso, you can swivel, you can go 360 on the head. So, you know, it's standard articulation for a five-point five, five point articulation figure. So, um, he's got his one silver leg, but all the rest are gold, it's gold, so that's pretty cool. Um, the detail is alright on him, you can see all like little electron uh, electronic wires and stuff. And you have a little detail on those back plating. It's got some nice, not bad detail. And then on the head, you can see, you can see the eyes and the mouth. So, it's a pretty cool figure. And then, we've got R2-D2 from Rebels. Um, R2 has really like three points of articulation. So he has the you know, forward and back of the legs go 360 to be exact, then 360 on the head. Um, no middle leg to come down, sadly. Um, but yeah, details all right on this one too. It's got all the little panels and flaps and stuff that a normal R2D2 should have. So, yeah, they're pretty cool figures. Um, I do love R2 and C-3PO from Star Wars, you know, they're two of my favorite characters. Um, the paint app on R2-D2 is okay, except for that, like, little bit right there. It's kind of faded a bit there. That's really the only problem I really have with the paint. Um, you know, for a five-point articulation figure, it's not too bad, and it's not too good either. I mean, you know, they could I mean, you know, it's a five-point articulation figure, now they're not, they're not going to put a whole ton of detail on it, but, you know, you know, these, you know, for, these are for, like, little kids, you know, the adult collectors have the black series, you know, little kids get the little Rebels and Mission Series figures, but, you know, I like them. I think these are, I think this is going to be a good toy line. So that's my review of those. I uh, hope, thank you guys for watching. Excuse me, um, I've got a bit of a cold. Um, if you could do me a big favor, hit the subscribe button down below, or like this, like the video. And leave a comment if you want. Tell me whatever. Hello, hi. Um, so yeah, I uh, think you guys watching and may the force be with you.